Hello again, this is Miller from another segment of the Fit Show powered by bodybuilding.com. Today, in the training with Miller Secrets of the Pros, we're going to talk about back training. By new IBB Pro rules, all the bodybuilders should be aesthetically pleasing with the extreme V taper. To develop that V taper, we need to develop exceptional back. In the last 20 years, Mr. Olympia contest has really determined who has the best back. If you look back in Lee Haney, Dorian Yates, and now Ronnie Coleman, we would see probably the three best backs in the history of bodybuilding. So today I'm going to show you little secrets how to develop that Olympia size back. So let's go and do it. And today's topic on the Fit Show is the back training. Back is a large muscle group, very important in bodybuilding. And I would actually say probably the most important is if you look in the history of a Mr. Olympia contest, last 20 years really guys with the best back dominate that contest. Uh, hardest and probably the best exercise for back would be pull-ups. Now, very few people can actually do the pull-ups, and uh, even though we're going to demonstrate uh, how to do pull-ups behind the neck and in front, I would say that uh, for most of the beginners, don't try this uh, right away. Do a variation of uh, that exercise, which is uh, high pulley pull-downs, which also is going to be demonstrated today at the show. Uh, but for advanced guys that uh, can do uh, pull-ups, I would highly suggest uh, to do it. And here is uh, Marcel Carvel, my training partner, who's going to demonstrate both behind the neck and uh, wide in front pull-ups. Uh, I'm go to behind. Okay, behind the neck, as you can see, with a wide uh, grip, he would lower himself very carefully, stretch the latissimus, and then pull himself as high up. Okay, let's switch around so uh, they can see actually back in action. Uh, behind the neck is the one variation, and he's going to demonstrate in front wide pull-ups, which uh, focuses on uh, uh, latissimus development, but also works upper portion of uh, trapezius, rhomboids, and also works insertion of a uh, lower lat. It's a general uh, lat or back developer. Okay, this would be a pull-up version, and he can simulate the exact same movement here on a, a high pulley pull-down machine where uh, exact same movement can be simulated using a you know, much lighter weight, because here you really have to pull up you know, your body weight. So here you go, go in front. This is typical uh, back movement. You can see in every gym everybody does this one. The point that I'm trying to make is here. Grip has to be uh, really considered just like a hooks. So, don't try to really grab it too much and use the biceps as a, a, a pulling muscle. Try to hook yourself up and then pull from the elbows, contracting the lats, focusing on the lat. Okay, you can rest for a second. We're using the straps, which really is a, a, a very useful tool in a back training, you know, because usually grip that we have would fail, and most of the guys have a you know, much stronger back than they would have a forearms and a grip. So using a heavy weight, many times people would not be able to finish certain amount of reps because their, their grip would fail. So use the straps, hook yourself up, which would take some pressure off the biceps, and you can literally use it, you know, pretty much like this, pushing it down straight. And a little trick is don't pull it from this point, pull it from elbow point, which now I'm going to try to demonstrate. Don't go just down, try to go in. Stretch it and go in. Uh, many people don't see their back, so they can't really visualize what back muscle look like you know, during the exercise. So try to really visualize elbows coming towards your body. This is a really useful tip that uh, many of the beginners wouldn't know. It's uh, pulling a, a bar straight down, but in that arch that your elbows would move towards your back. Uh, variation of that exercise, which uh, Masai is going to now again show you, do the wide behind neck. Behind the neck, as wide as possible, for a width, mainly for the upper lats. Again, it's impossible to isolate only that part, but uh, more of the fibers of the upper uh, lat area are working in this erected straight position. Okay, and you can definitely see this in uh, Marcellus muscularity. Now go to the front. 
Okay, now, by just leaning slightly forward, additional muscle fibers of the middle back is going to get involved. And if he would lean all the way back, he would go all the way down to the lower lats. So this would be considered somewhat cheating in a lateral uh, move. But if he goes down, changing the angle, more of a lower, fibers would be involved, go back, middle, and now extreme erected, upper. Thank you. So uh, for back exercise, I would always start with something like this, either pull up or a high pulley uh, pull downs in any variation, wide grip behind, wide in front, moderate or even close grip. And we're moving on to a low pulley cable rows. That's another aspect of doing a bend over rows instead of a barbell or a dumbbells. We're going to be using a low pulley cable row. So, uh, Marcel is going to demonstrate. Uh, we also have uh, several versions. We're going to show narrow grip, close grip, pulling it to the stomach for a lower lat development, and then wide grip for the upper back. Uh, advantage of uh, uh, cables, as you can see here, is Marcel can stretch himself much further than he would do this in a bend over position. So that stimulates that stretch on the way there, stimulates extra muscle fiber recruitment. And if you focus here, by pulling low, he is working a lower and a middle lats. So it's a tremendous exercise. You can really use the heavy weight much safer than you can do in bend over position, as even doctors would uh, agree that this is much safer physiologically. It doesn't affect the spine that much. So this is a close grip version. As you can see, he's pulling to the stomach, which activates the lower lats. And we're going to change the grip and use the high grip this time. And he can pull a little higher to the chest area, which now is going to focus on the upper lats, upper back in general, trapezius, rhomboids, teres minor, teres minor, all the little muscles here, including a rear delt. So stretching all the way and pulling it back. Very good. This is a low pulley cable. Thank you, Marcel. Uh, again, low pulley cables are really excellent exercise if you are injured. If you have a bad lower back, you can't do any bend over positions. This is the right thing to do to substitute any rowing movement with a cable rows. That's it for a low pulley cable rows. Next exercise is deadlift. Uh, I left it at the uh, last exercise, but it should be sometimes the first, as it's considered one of the best building moves. Heavy duty powerlifting power move, it's a, a deadlift. Not just uh, uh, upper, middle, and lower latissimus is involved in this exercise. Erectors, lower back, is tremendous, tremendously stimulated, as well as the whole leg area, quadriceps, hamstring, glutes. Uh, Marcel is going to demonstrate the power deadlift move. There is a stiff leg deadlift which uh, stimulates more hamstring or a power deadlift move and he is stimulating, uh, he is demonstrating a power move now. Okay. Very good. This is a typical deadlift. Now I'm going to show you a little variation. Okay, put it down and uh, go around and show this one that we do with the spread lats. Uh, I like to do this uh, variation of a deadlift for the bodybuilders you know that want a width of the back so we would do variation of a deadlift when he would simulate relaxed pose from the front in a bodybuilding contest spread his lats as much as he can and now do the uh, deadlifts with the elbows forward making sure that lats are wide out so you cannot use the as heavy weight and you can also do just a partial movement. So don't go all the way down. And a squeeze on the way up. Okay. So this is a slight variation of a deadlift. Okay, thank you, Marcella. Uh, deadlift in general is a power move. You can use really very, very heavy weight. Is overall back developer. This version of a deadlift is uh, specific for bodybuilders, but they want to increase that V taper. That's a little trick that I use. 
It's like a relaxed pose from the front with the lats all the way out. Keeping the elbows in front would simulate that uh, a move that would really pull out those uh, latissimus and make you wider. And that's it for this episode of Fit Show, training with Milos, Secrets of the Pros for bodybuilding.com. Please tune in next time and thank you for watching.